Why are older men staying alone? Why are older men isolating themselves from not just women, but people, society in general? Why are older men going really remote, finding themselves in the middle of nowhere or wanting to move to the middle of nowhere and get away from it all? Unless you've lived in a city like I have, I live in London, then you might not understand this. But even if you don't, staying alone and isolating alone as a man is not a defence mechanism. It's choosing a way of life. There are many men in my comment section on my videos who say to me, I had a lovely wife, but she sadly passed away. Or we divorced because it was the right time. We had a lovely marriage, but we decided to go our own way. And now I'm in another chapter of my life where I find myself alone once more. My kids have grown up, married or whatever. And even men in their late 30s and 40s are deciding to stay alone, potentially even in relationships as well, but alone from everybody else. I know men who are literally moving out into the wilderness, into the sticks, because they can't take it anymore. When I was in my early 20s, I used to have a friend who lived in the centre of London. Literally, it was busy, it was polluted, and it made him ill. But he said, I've got everything here. I can literally go to Leicester Square. I can go to Parliament. I've got everything on my doorstep. I could not think of anything worse. I don't care how amazing his apartment was of living in the centre of a busy, polluted, heavily stressful city like London. And even me, who lives on the outskirts, right in the suburbs, I still find it stressful. I still find it painful. I don't know if you've ever watched or read any of the comics of Superman, who is the idealization of perfection. Superman is the perfect man. He's indestructible. He's amazing. He looks amazing. He does amazing things. But even Superman and his alter ego, Clark Kent, has the fortress of solitude, literally an ice chamber, cavern, whatever you want to call it, in the middle of nowhere for him, even Superman, to collect his thoughts, to get away from it all. There is no one there but him and his thoughts with all the stress and all the pressure of being perfect. We need our fortress of solitude as men. Why do you think men have man caves? Why do you think men do retreats? Why do you think men like to go camping, like to go fishing? And get away from it all as a young man in my 20s and early teens and then you know like that sort of stage of my life I didn't get it I didn't understand why do you want to go do those things why do you want to go fish for 10 hours why do you want to go hiking why do you want to be remote because you want to get away from everyone you want to get away from the crazy politics that we have in the western world you want to get away from people other men in general, weird men, men who are insecure, men who are jealous, men who are trying to criticise us for our life choices, who are trying to wish bad on us for trying to improve ourselves. We're trying to question the establishment, trying to stand up for ourselves as well. We're trying to get away from the energy of family. Yes, blood is thicker than water. Yes, they were related to you. Yes, you grew up in the same house and so on and so on. But these people, do they really get you? Do they really understand you? They're in their twilight years now, if it's your parents or if it's cousins or if it's a sibling. They may be living a totally different life to you, but because they've got the title brother, sister, uncle, whatever, mother, father, you feel obligated to stay connected with them, even though they don't really bring anything of value to you. They criticise everything you do. They criticise what you believe in and you have absolutely nothing in common. You can literally grow up in the same house as somebody and then realize that you're totally different people because you've evolved as a man you've educated yourself you've learned the truth of what it takes to be a man that it's no picnic that it required years of blood sweat and tears just to make a living it took guts and balls to invest your money to build up a nest egg for you for a family for a wife, for children, or just yourself, to finally pay off that mortgage in a house in an area that all these years later just doesn't seem right or home anymore. To finally pay off the bills of that car or any debt whatsoever. We've had enough as men, and even men in our 30s and 40s have had enough. I isolate and stay alone way more than I ever have done in my entire life. I was a social butterfly. I used to go out all the time. I couldn't stay at home. I hated being at home. But as time has gone on, 
as I've learnt the real nature of people, as I've got badly burnt by so-called friends in the past, friends who criticised me for starting my own business, friends who were so jealous that I invested money and tried to see the future in real estate and various other things, friends who were jealous because I held a higher standard of myself, my life and my future, and I didn't want to settle for just any relationship. Friends who decided to stay and plateau exactly the same as they've always been and never wanted me to go to that next level. But I wanted to get to that next level. I'm not saying I'm better than them. I just wanted more. I didn't want to stay where I was. I looked at other people and thought, they're not better than me. They're not smarter than me. They're not wiser than me. Why are they richer? Why have they got everything they want and I don't? And I worked hard and I cut ties and I walked away from people. But of course, older men are staying away from the wrong women. Why on earth would a man want to be around a narcissistic, entitled, cheating, lying, gold digging woman in his later years, in any stage of his life? A woman who siphons away all of that hard earned money that he's killed himself to earn. A woman that sacrifices him of the most important commodity that he wants at this stage of his life, his peace and quiet. All he wants to do is sit down, read a book, look at a river stream in the forest, go hiking in silence and hear the birds and nature and just be peaceful, and just eat in silence, enjoy that solitude. But with the wrong woman, she wouldn't agree to that. She wouldn't agree to the remote living. She wouldn't agree to it. She wants the fast life. She wants the hustle and bustle. She wants to be around people. She wants to be around the shops and all of those stupid friends she has and all of that crap, which is so superficial and so useless. The right woman, though, can't wait to escape with this man and values the time away, values the downtime, values the retirement, values the nature values the solitude and together they have a harmonious peaceful fortress of solitude together because she's on the same page but of course there's a lot of men who don't have that who are on the receiving end of a bitter disgraceful divorce an unjust divorce or they found out that their wife has been cheating on them or long-term girlfriend so therefore what does the man want to do? Does he want to confront his feelings head on? Does he want to confront her? Does he want to be surrounded by the toxic shame of friends and family who may be said, I told you that she was toxic or you need to win her back? No. All a man wants to do when he's hit with any form of grief like that, especially an older man, a mature man, is he wants to run away to the middle of nowhere. Imagine having the possibility of a log cabin in the woods where you've got everything you need there. And you've got electricity, you've got some food, and it's just you in nature, and there's not a sound, and it's safe, and it's wonderful. Ask any older man, and that's where he wants to escape to. Or it could be a hotter climate. I'm from the Mediterranean. Perhaps you want to go get a house in the middle of nowhere by the beach. It doesn't matter. The older man wants to escape away from the nine to five, escape away from the city, escape away from the culture and modern society that is full of jealousy, full of disloyalty, full of mistrust, betrayal, full of anxiety, stress, corruption, strange politics, weird ideologies. And he just wants to go back to the basics. Put a man near a campfire on his own in nature under a starry night. And that is living, my friend. That is beauty. That is all a man needs. That is all a wise man needs. He doesn't need a fast car, a watch. He doesn't need a bimbo by his side. He doesn't need millions and billions of dollars. All he needs is solitude, himself, some nature, time to reflect his thoughts, no technology, and just his own peace of mind. When he finds his own peace of mind, however he does so, he holds on to it for dear life and realises and recognises that he never needed to be happy. He never needed to make a lot of money. He never really even needed a relationship with the wrong person. He never needed lots of friends. All he needed to do 
was enjoy the simple things in life and enjoy living in his own skin, walking in his own shoes. And when he realizes that, it's so addictive and powerful and reassuring and healthy that it's pretty hard to let it go. That is why older men and most men now in general are staying alone and away from all of that nonsense, especially all the wrong people. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Check out my course, The Power of Walking Away, and you can get 50% off my course in the description below. And start your healing journey now with my official channel sponsor, BetterHelp. You can get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp in the description below. And also, please share this video with someone who you think needs to hear this message. Thanks for watching.